Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by Laurent Fresinet against Vladimir Kramnik. Kramnik is on the white side. The game was played at Alyokhin Memorial 2013. Let's see how the game went on. Kramnik started with knight f3, d5 by Fresinet, g3, knight c6 and d4 we see the Chigorin defense, bishop g4, knight d2, Queen d7, black is preparing an immediate castling on the queen side, h3, bishop f5, c3, opening up the queen's diagonal and also white can start an immediate attack on the queen side. And here comes an interesting decision by Fresine, e5, going for a pawn sacrifice, this was a novelty at that time. Kramnik captured on e5, of course capturing on e5 with a knight is also playable and Fresine castled queenside. Here comes e3, instead of fianchettoing the bishop, Kramnik decided to bring his bishop to e2 and at some point it can even jump to b5 square. We see knight e7, g4 which is weakening the kingside and now with h5 black can challenge white's kingside. Bishop g6 and b4, another interesting decision by Kromnik is playing on both sides. h5, b5, and here Fresine played a very strong move. As you can see, the knight on c6 is hanging, but instead of moving it away, Fresine captured on g4, sacrificing the knight. Kromnik accepted the sacrifice and knight takes c6. e6, queen takes e6, knight d4, Knight takes d4, c takes d4, and bishop e7. Black is going to bring the bishop to h4 square and put pressure on white king, which is stuck in the center. Bishop g2, g takes h3, bishop f3, bishop f5, allowing this pawn to move further. Queen a4, king b8, protecting the pawn, bishop a3, and here comes a strong move, bishop h4. Now black is threatening, queen takes e3. Knight f1, the end, black pushes the pawn, g5. Rook h2, well actually if we have a look at the position, it's very difficult to find a good move for white. Well maybe rook c1 looks more solid, but this rook h2 looks very passive, and now Kramnik is starting to have a lot of problems. Here comes g4. Bishop e2 and bishop e4. Rook c1, bishop g2, cutting the rook, trapping it, and now black is preparing a very sharp tactic. Queen a5, rook c8, instead of moving any pawn and causing weaknesses on the queen side, Fresine calm heartedly plays rook c8. Rook c3, but here comes bang, bishop takes f2, sacrificing the bishop and demolishing white's pawn structure. King takes f2 and bishop takes f1. Now black is removing the defender knight. King takes f1, g3, look at this aggressive pawns. Kramnik played bishop f3 and Fresine simply captured on h2. King e2 trying to bring the king to a safer square but here comes rook g8. Bishop c5, threatening check made in 1. a6, bishop h1 but here comes rook g2 check and Kramnik captured on g2 and resigned. Well, after h takes g2 there is no way to stop this aggressive past pawns and it's over. Black is promoting his pawn to a queen. What a beautiful attacking game played by Lawan Fresine. Your comments and questions please. What do you think about this game? Good luck.